Hello everybody. Do you remember a man called Vitaly? I unfortunately do. As a kid, I remember watching his pranks and thinking they were funny. Oh boy. I'm glad I hit puberty. If you don't know him, he's a bit of a prankster, a bit of a hilarious con man on the internet. He's obviously uh, well known for doing a, um, a pornography scene in his younger careers. Later on in life, he did some interesting uh, pranks like Russian hitman, stuff like that. But in the past sort of like five years, he can only be described as evaporated. He disappeared. I hadn't heard the name Vitaly in so long. And then what was created? A website called Kit. It's almost like a veterans place for people to go. Outcast. You know, people go there who are no longer allowed on any other website because they've been kicked off. <laughs> I like Kick. I think it, what it's doing is probably better than Twitch. What the hell is even that? But let's be real. That's what it is. It's for people who want to say, call people bags and gamble online and pretend that they're winning loads when really it's all rigged. That's a big claim. That's the only problem I have with it. But you know, he's obviously made a made an appearance back, and he's also got an OnlyFans, which of course, why wouldn't you? When you get your knob out, you, you, you know, you might as well get paid for it. So if you don't remember as well, he invaded uh, the World Cup. I actually remember that happening. I think I was actually watching the game as well, which is even funnier. You're fucking hilarious, huh? Uh, he's done stunts and got caught for it. He got arrested and somehow he's still allowed out in the world, in the atmosphere. He's allowed to breathe the same oxygen as us, which is funny. But why am I talking about this, Russian? Well, he's been on the pranks again. He's been on the beers. He's been sipping green, slurping lean. Now, this poor lady here is about to have her bike nicked and robbed and ran away with. Now, obviously, he gives it back because, I mean, he's worked out that he's filming a crime and usually, you know, the point of a crime is to get away with it. And when you film it on your personal kick channel and have your name on it, it's pretty obvious who's done the deed. So I think even him with his small brain cells had to work out that actually, I should probably give it back. I'm about to be caught. I'm out here. Oh, I'm out here! I'm out! I'm out! What the fuck is that? Dude, his butt cheeks are hanging out. Like, you know when you get them really fat people on building sites who are like... <laughs> they sound like that and they breathe through their nose and they like dribble when they talk and you know, when they smoke a cigarette, like you can just hear sort of their, their life exiting their body. That's what he sounds like and looks like here. I mean, it's only gotten worse for Vitaly. Unfortunately, you know, people start off as pranksters and you think, oh, this guy's cool. You know, you're like you're a six year old watching him prank old women and stuff like that. And now you just kind of realize, oh, this, this, guy, this guy's not even funny. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's what steroids do to your kids. <laughs> hey, Somebody told me. It's like a, a big cock. Cock? Cook? Cook? Cock? You like big cock? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would get. Oh god, it's just so cringe. Do you like big cock? I ain't got a big cock, but I do have a cock. Would you like to see it? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit bendy, but that's just, I, I have issues. Being straight to the point, I love it. So, um, but yeah, what's your number? Uh, Camila. No. My number. Yeah. Number. This must be harassment simply because I'm taking advantage of someone who does not speak English. <laughs> it's like you ask for a number, she gives you a name. Maybe take the hint, mate. She's not interested in your uh, pink shorts. Would you like to give me a number? Yes, my number is Jackson. That's that's not a number. Oh, really? What number then? Oh, okay. Oh. Camila, that's a hot name. And you like big cock. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> I might be getting late for my first time in six months. I promise you, I will eat you out like there's no tomorrow. I'm going <laughs> to... Suck you dry. Oh god. Oh god. Some things just do not require commenting or saying, and unfortunately this guy seems to spend his entire life saying them. I sometimes comprehend what life would be like being deaf and blind, and I think it would actually be more enjoyable. I'm just gonna go find a fork, pull both my eyes out the sockets, and into my ears. I mean, how do you deafen yourself? I said, I'm gonna blast music on full volume the next three days, not sleep, and I think that should do the trick. How long are you here for? Uh, until... Wait. Yeah, yeah, sorry, focus, because we don't want to miss the g d digit, because if I don't fucking miss the digit, I am going to find you, no matter how long it takes. Oh my god, Colombian. He's <laughs> such a predator, like, what is this? I, 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 don't get me wrong, I find it funny, but I'm, like, laughing at how stupid and, like, laughing at him. You know what I mean? There's a difference between comedian laughing with them or laughing at them. This guy, you just constantly, like, like one of them pinatas you just can't stop hitting. Even when it's on the floor, you just keep beating the shit out of it, hoping that there's some hidden sweets left in the brain or something like that. And you just, like, bah, 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 just kick the shit out of it. You know, you're stamping on it, you teabag it, and then you just, like, someone get out the machine gun and... Brrr. You think he's dead?
Next thing you know, it's exploded and you were arrested by the police because you shot at a kid's birthday party. But it was worth it because you won. You got the sweets. Fucking mm -hmm. uh, Until Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday? Well, tonight we meet. Okay. Really? Wow. Tonight we meet? It's like, what the fuck? I don't speak English very well. I don't. You just admitted to meeting a predator. Congrats. To pick up black girls like you. On social media. I'm not on fucking social media. Fuck that garbage. I'm here for one reason and one reason only. To pick up black girls like you and eat them out like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> oh, the noise. Oh, God. Oh, you gay? No, I'm 56. 50? Oh, my God. You're a gilf. That's my fucking type. Good. But anyways, no disrespect to you. I love you, little hob. Like I said, I've been homeless. And uh, I would love to take a nap, but I don't I think only my cock will fit on this little bed. So I'm going to keep going. I wish you best of luck. God bless you. Stay up. Stay salty. Stay hard. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Stay salty. Stay hard. This guy's just... But you have to admit, he's one of a kind. You will never in your entire life meet a man as deranged and deluded as this gentleman right here. Not only has he got the brain the size of a fucking pencil sharpener, but he's also got the charisma of a chihuahua that has just been spoiled his whole life. It's, you know, it's quite something to witness. <laughs> I don't like all this breathing, to be honest. The breathing's really put me off. Sounds like my granddad after he's chain smoked for 50 years of his life. As you can see, there's a lot of great clips of this gentleman here, so... Fucking sandwich looks so good. God, just imagine, though, you, you're sat there eating your pizza, like, mmm, this is so nice. You're listening to music, relaxing, having so much fun, I love it. And this barking dog in pink shorts comes over and starts fucking harassing you, trying to get a slice of pepperoni. You'd be, I'd be fucking living, mate. I'd headbutt him. I'd rock off. No. No. No, like he's like mental like there are, there are like mental people and then there's like mental mental people like he's like a mental mental person you know what i mean like he's absolutely off his tits i don't know what he's done his whole life you feel like you've missed out a couple of years of his life and he's he, he's like i don't know i don't know what, what, what happened no go <laughs> It's all about ruining your self-respect and ruining other people's self-respect for you. All about being the laughing stock these days. And the problem with life is, you know, this is now, you know, what you'll be remembered for. The guy who made a couple funny pranks, lost all his money, sleeps in a hammock outside Tesco's and is now picking up people's breadcrumbs like a dog because they have realised that kick is going to pay them a bit of cash if they get a few views. I mean, look, would I sell my soul out for a hundred squid? Probably. Would I pretend to be a dog for views? Maybe. Maybe I would. Maybe I would. This final clip I'm going to brace your, grace your butt cheeks with. It looks like dog shit, but I think it's important to sum up what he is. Hey, my name is Vitaly. I'm new on kick, and I'm about to take this fucking platform out. <laughs> fucking film me! My face, dude! Right, right, right. What are you doing? Yeah. Film me! Yeah. I'm right here! I'm fucking about to get fired! Cops are right behind you. We gotta go. I don't care! Whoa, bro, I don't on. care! What is going on, dude? So he's even madder this sort of shit in America because like the chances of you doing a prank and getting, getting shot are like, you know, kind of high. The, the chances of you just walking the street and getting shot are kind of high. But the fact that people actually do this and like are quite comfortable and happy with their skin, you know. I wanted to watch these clips because at the end of the year and I've, I've seen this guy and he's made a comeback and you think, WTF, what happened? Some people just, you know, it's like dead people. You wouldn't bring them back to life, bro. You've seen Game of Thrones, they're not the same. They don't come back normal. The same as with this man's career. It's the classic, you know, creator who thinks he's like the king as well and treats anyone else and his whole team like dog shit and screams at them and shouts at them like, this was me, mate. I just break your fucking camera and crash the car, cave your head in and then piss on your dead body, you know what I mean? I'm pulling up right now, these cops. You're about to be fucking fired if you say anything about the cops again! Okay, sorry, dude. Where's Aiden? I need my fucking king deal. He's promised me. Dude, I need... 
So he's just nuts. He's absolutely crazy. Uh, he thinks he's Fousey Tube, which let's be thankful he's not. That Fousey Tube might be one of the only people in the universe worse than him. But yeah, this big Roy Donkey guy, like you know, he, he he's a an interesting fella. Let's put it like that. Some people are born pranksters. Some people are just fake. He he did boxing as well. I forgot to mention. Yeah, imagine that boxing. I mean, just look at look at the look at the size of this human being. Imagine how much shit's been up his ass crack. I mean, it's incredible. But look, this is a prime example of why some people should just remain dead. You know what I mean? Like Eminem said, when your career's done, just admit that it's over. I can't remember what he says exactly, but you know exactly what I mean. When it's over, it's over. Fucking give up. I tally another man who unfortunately let the fame, the fortune, and the life get to him. Not me. Not me, son. Never. Dead. I'd get into drugs. That's what I'd get into. Hardcore fucking barbiturates, mate. I'd just pop them all day, be off my head. You just see me sat on the sofa drooling like, Yeah, guys, thank you, thank you for watching my video, I'm, uh, I'm gonna uh, just sort of like lie here for 10 minutes, 10 minutes, you know what I mean? Do shit like that. But anyway, thank you. Have a happy new year and God bless America. Hallelujah.